Today's video is sponsored by the team over at ZeroCryptoConsulting.com. Getting started as a home crypto miner can be intimidating, confusing, or just plain frustrating. Well, the team over at Zero Crypto Consulting has you covered. Zero Crypto Consulting specializes in professional, personalized crypto mining training courses, from the basics of understanding cryptocurrency to getting started mining. Currently an advanced miner looking to take your crypto mining farm to the next level? Zero Crypto Consulting can help. If you would like to see what Zero Crypto Consulting is all about, schedule a free 30-minute strategy call with their team using the checkout code the Hobbyist Miner. Thanks again to the team over at Zero Crypto Consulting for sponsoring today's video. In today's video, we're talking about Meowcoin, Meowcoin, and more Meowcoin. What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, as the title says, today we're talking about Meowcoin. Now, many people kind of learned about Meowcoin several weeks or maybe even a month or two back uh, as it was kind of this like little running joke amongst content creators, amongst GPU miners. But now jumping ahead in the beginning of October, Meowcoin not only has some legitimacy behind it, but some profitability behind it as well. So in today's video, we're gonna do a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up our Meowcoin wallet. And then we're going to take one of my 6600s and I'm gonna set that up to mine Meowcoin. So let's go ahead and jump into things. So I first heard about Meowcoin months back and didn't take it seriously. But my kind of pivotal point as to when I started taking Meowcoin more seriously as a, hmm, I should, actually get a bag of this. And right now for me with spec mining, I'm spec mining almost everything. I think most of us are. So I saw a project and I saw an opportunity to put together a decent sized bag of it. And that's why I decided, hey, Meowcoin would be a perfect video to go ahead and highlight and also mine a little bit of. I'm not swapping my whole farm over to it. I'm not even swapping a whole rig over to it. I'm swapping one lonely 6600. But what made me really take it seriously was not too long ago, I caught a video on Hawk Crypto Mining's channel. I'll put a link directly down below to it and you guys will see it up on screen right now. And it was an interview with one of the developers behind Meowcoin, Andrew, and Hawk Crypto Mining. And it was a great conversation. I really enjoyed it. And after that conversation was over, I was like, hmm, there's some legitimacy to this. Not only is it solving a real world problem, which is per, um, you know the funds needed for different animal shelters and different causes behind different animal challenges. I was like, oh, they're taking some of the funds from the development of this and they're donating them like in a charity perspective to these different charities throughout the world. And I'm like, I like this, this is a great idea. I'm an animal lover, I enjoy animals, I've had animals all my life and I'm like, this is kind of cool. It's not traditional. We haven't heard of something like this before. So I'm like, okay, I can get behind this and I can take one lonely 6600 and throw it on Meowcoin. So we're gonna go ahead and get started at taking a look at Meowcoin's website and downloading and installing their wallet. And then we'll go from there. So let's jump over to the other screen. Okay, miners, so we're over on the Meowcoin website and my first PSA and disclaimer here is be careful, not on their website, but searching for Meowcoin. So I went over to Google and I searched for Meowcoin. And the first thing that comes up is meowcoins.com. And I was like, okay, let me go take a look at this. And that brings you to this website here. And I'm looking around and I'm like, hmm, this isn't the same one that I saw on other crypto miners websites and stuff. And when they were doing YouTube videos on it, and what is this? And meowcoins.com is not what you're looking for. I went over here and you can like buy the coins directly from them and it's this weird wonkiness to it. And I quickly realized and learned I was in the wrong spot. So the actual website is mewccrypto.com. So make sure that you guys get over to the correct website because that other one is definitely not the right Meowcoin. So 
quick PSA on that and wanted to give you guys the quick heads up. So we're over on their website here. You can read a lot about it. Uh, there's some really good things that you will see down below. And I actually like the design of the website. Not that that's a reason to commit, but it makes it easy. So as you guys can see on their website, they give you the algorithm, bam, right away. Kapow. All right. Uh, block times, rewards, they give you the supply, donations, the mining percents, network difficulty, block height, price in USD, what it is right now, 24 hour volume and amount donated. So you can see there over $3,000 donated. Awesome, very cool. So come over to their website guys, I'll put a link directly down below. You can view everything on there. You can view their roadmap, which is great. This is awesome. You can see some longevity in the project donations that they've made to different groups currently and in the past with the transaction ID, with the organization, with the amount. That is awesome. Good for them. Good to show that transparency versus just, okay, I think they're donating, but we don't really know. So that's very cool. So when you're over on the Meowcoin website, we're just going to dive in and we're going to install the Meowcoin core wallet. So if you go on the left hand side, you can click on the wallet and here you have two options. You can use Beehive wallet or the Meowcoin wa uh, core wallet. So we're going to go ahead and download the Meowcoin core wallet. Okay, so if you guys caught my previous video that dropped this week, I talked to you guys about core wallets and how I'm using virtual machines on a Hyper-V host to do all my core wallets and each wallet is on its own individual isolated virtual machine. So I've gone ahead and created a new virtual machine for this. It's VM dash Meowcoin and there's nothing on it but Google Chrome. That's all we've installed. So I've gone ahead and taken the time to download the core wallet, but I have not installed it yet. So let's go ahead and jump into that. All right, so we're on the virtual machine. I've downloaded the Meowcoin core wallet. We're gonna go ahead and run the installer and we're gonna go through this step by step just in case you guys are a little hesitant or you're learning for your very first time to install a core wallet. So here, Windows right away is gonna flag this, like, hmm, what's going on, which is good. In this situation, you can click more info and hit run anyway. We're gonna give it a minute and it's gonna go ahead and bring up our installer. We're going to go through the steps. If you guys wanna install in a different location other than the default, you can go ahead and change that now. For me, this VM is totally dedicated to Meowcoin, so I'm completely okay with the default location. We're gonna follow through the steps here. We're gonna click install, and now it's gonna go ahead and go through and install all of it. So let's hang tight. All right, it completed all within a few seconds. We're gonna hit next, and now it's gonna to wanna to go ahead and run our Meowcoin core wallet. We're gonna hit finish, and it should go ahead and load up Meowcoin for the very first time. The first screen we're coming to is it's going to ask you where you wanna install the app data. So for me, we're gonna go with the, uh, the factory default, which is traditionally in the app data folder. You can see it actually here in gray if you wanted to change it. Uh, that's completely fine in this situation. What I would recommend is if you have this in something different, like a solid state drive or something like that, I would probably put it all in one folder. That's completely okay as well. We're gonna go ahead and click okay, and it's gonna go ahead and load Meowcoin. Now, this process could take some time once we finish this up with going ahead and downloading everything. So get everything set up, and then you might have to leave this for a few hours. So here it's going to allow us to import our recovery key if we have one already, or you can generate. In your situation, if you're setting this up for the very first time, you're gonna click generate and it's going to give you your um, recovery phrase. You're gonna want to jot that down somewhere secure. I'm not gonna go ahead and show mine here, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna hit generate and it's gonna provide me that. So we'll skip ahead right after this. Okay, so after we've gone ahead and we generated our passphrase, then it actually asked us for a recovery passphrase. So it's kind of like a uh, password there. So we added that in there. And then you actually have to hit enter on your keyboard. That threw me off. There's no like okay button or anything. So if anybody's watching this from the Meowcoin team, you need like an enter or next button there. That kind of threw me off. So once that's done, we're now brought over to this screen and it says, please enter a passphrase to encrypt your wallet. So this password should be different than the uh, previous one that you created. So type in your password here twice and then hit confirm. Okay, after you hit confirm, it's just gonna give us a heads up, tell you it's successful and make sure that you please remember it. Hit okay. Guys, without any of these, the passphrase, the recovery passphrase password, this encrypted wallet password, you're not gaining access back to these. So please make sure that you do secure these the best that you guys can. 
So let's go ahead and get this moved over a little bit. Okay, so now what? What do we do now? Well, it is gonna need time to sync the entire blockchain and it's gonna take a while. So you can move forward with the video, but keep in mind, you're gonna have to leave this up because as you guys can see, the last block time that it has on here was August 28th and we're now October 9th. So it's gonna take a while. So just go ahead and hit hide and that's gonna reveal the rest of our wallet. Okay, so now that we have gone ahead and we can see our wallet, you're gonna have some information. Core wallets are very similar. This one is pretty much identical to there. It shows you how much I have available, which is nothing right now. I haven't mined it before. But on the left-hand side, something that we wanna get is our wallet address. You don't wanna have to keep coming into your wallet address. So feel free to come in here. You'll hit receive. Uh, and then it's going to bring up your wallet address for Meowcoin. And the way you can do that is when you hit receive, you can just hit request payment and it's going to go ahead and give you your wallet address there. Just hit copy address and then store this somewhere so you can easily reference it so you don't have to open up your wallet every time you want to get it. Keep in mind some wallets do have your address changed. So if you come back in here again, it may have a different address for you, but it all goes to the same place. So don't be concerned in any way, shape or form, but copy down that address, even put it in your clipboard for right now, because we're gonna need it when we go over to Hive OS for when we build out our wallet and our flight sheet. All right, miners, so we are over within Hive OS. We're on our beast rig, which is it's just a handful of 6600s, has some 6600 XT, some 6600s, and I love using this one for some of my spec mining. I have it right now, um, you can see on the Oxa and then also on Vertcoin. So we're going to take one of our GPUs off of Neoxa. Uh, we'll just pick one of these here. Um, let's see, let's go with number, uh, let's go with zero. We'll go with zero here. So we're gonna go with, this is an Asus Radeon RX 6600 XT. And we're gonna put this over on Meowcoin. Now the nice thing is, is Neoxa and Meowcoin both use the Kapow algorithm. So I don't need to make any changes here when it comes to overclock settings. So the first thing I wanna do is go into my existing flight sheet and I wanna take that GPU out of the flight sheet. So if I go ahead and edit the flight sheet and I'm gonna edit the first one here, we can go ahead and see that GPU zero is already being used for Neoxa. So we're gonna remove that. We're gonna hit apply and we're gonna hit update and we're gonna update that. So that's going to take GPU zero out of my Neoxa flight sheet and make it available to my Meowcoin. Now, we do need to now add our Meowcoin address into HiveOS because it doesn't exist in there right now. So to do that, click HiveOS in the top left, click back on your farm. And actually, if you go back to HiveOS at this level, at the global level, you can actually go to wallets because this will add it to all your farms if you have multiple farms. Once you're in here, hit add wallet in the top right hand corner and start to type the name of the coin, which it isn't in HiveOS yet, but you could just M-E-O-W. That's just what I'm gonna add my ticker as, M-E-O-W for meow. Now I'm gonna hit create because it doesn't exist in HiveOS, but you can still add it. Under address here, we're just gonna go ahead and paste in our wallet address. Remember we talked about copying the address to our clipboard, there it is right there. Under name, I'm gonna name it. So we're gonna do uh, meow coin, and I'm going to add, I like to add, like where that wallet exists. So I'm just gonna do core wallet VM, core wallet and virtual machine. And I'm just gonna hit create. Bam, we're done with adding our wallet into Hive OS. So now let's go back to Hive OS and then we're going to go to our farms. We're going to go to our rig and here is the rig. And as you can see, GPU zero is no longer mining right now and it doesn't show up up top under the Neoxa um, uh, flight sheet. So we're gonna go to flight sheets and we're gonna go ahead and hit edit the flight sheet. And this is where we're gonna to have to edit our flight sheet and set it up to mine Meowcoin. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to add a miner. So we're gonna add our third miner. And if you guys aren't familiar with like how to set up flight sheets or how to set up all these different miners and stuff, I have a video on how to add multiple miners to one mining rig um, with even NVIDIA and, EVG, uh, NVIDIA and AMD all in the same rig. It's not too complicated. Uh, I'll put a link in the upper right hand corner and down below to it if that's helpful for you. So we're gonna hit add miner on the right hand side. It's gonna bring up a new row. We're going to select our coin. We're gonna type in meow coin. It's now going to give us under wallets the option for our wallet, which is great. And now we need to pick a pool and there's no pools available. So what do we do? So what we need to do is we need to find our pool. 
So on the left hand side under coins, we need to type in meow coin and click there. And now it's going to go ahead and give us a list of all the meow coin pools that are out there. And you can see there's quite a few different ones. It also tells you the pool fees, uh, how many miners are on it, how much hash rate is total that's out there, 482 as of October 9th. And then you can see how much network hash rate. So our plant has 57.7% of the hash rate. So I'm not going to go with that one. I'm actually going to go down and go to Zerg pool because I want to help to split up that hash rate. You don't want one pool to just have it all. So we're going to go ahead and click on Zerg pool here and Zerg pool is going to bring us right over to their website. And this is where we can go ahead and get the server information for Meowcoin. So what we're going to do is on the left hand side, you can select your region. We're going to do North America. Our algorithm is going to be um, Kapow. And then for our payout currency, we want to do Meowcoin. Better yet, over on Livecoin Watch, you can see that their ticker is MEWC. So keep that in mind. That's what everything it goes by. So back over to Zerg Pool, we've selected that. Um, and we're going to go ahead and right here, you can actually see that it has gone ahead and generated it. So the nice thing is it kind of generates everything you need. We don't need all of this, but what we do need is the stratum one right here. So we're going to copy the stratum. It's got Kapal and a mine Zerg pool dot com colon three, six, three, eight. So we're going to need all of that. So I'm going to copy that and we're going to go back over to our rig and we're going to select configure in miner. So we're not going to set it in the pool. We're going to configure it in the miner. And now we're going to go over and pick our miner. So these GPUs are AMD GPUs. So there's a lot of different ones out there. And traditionally I would use team red miner, but team red miner is already selected. Something is already mining with that, which is Neoxa. So we need to pick another one that will handle Kapow. So I've gone ahead and selected NB miner and we're going to go ahead and you see where it says set up miner config. We're going to click there. And now it's going to ask us, well, what's our algorithm? Now, once Meowcoin becomes a little more mainstream, all this is going to be populated, but it's not there yet. So under algorithm, we need to come up here and type in Kapow. And now it's going to ask for wallet and worker. If you click the little I and just click this top one, it's now going to add in the variable for wallet and worker. So that takes care of that. For pool, remember we copied that pool from Zerg pool. We're just going to paste it in here. It has the stratum, tcp, kapow.na.mine.zergpool dot com colon three six three eight now for password you can put whatever you want in here for all intents and purposes i'm going to go ahead and type in one two three now the one thing we don't forget is we need to specify which gpu is going to be mining this because we have lots here so under extra configs if you hover over the i it gives you the syntax here so devices we're going to remember we talked about device zero so look we're going to get rid of all the other ones and just say device zero we're going to hit apply and we're going to hit update on our flight sheet and it'll go to all workers, which is just the one for this. And let's give it a few minutes and see what happens. OK, guys, so we actually were having some issues with Zerg pool. It looks like they were having some server issues or something tonight. So I decided for all intents and purposes, let's pick a different pool. So if we go over to minor pool stats here, I was like, all right, let's take a look here, see what's available. I don't want anything really at the top. And I actually found one here, uh, crimsonfusion.org. It has a 0.5% pool fee. So I was like, awesome. Sounds good. There's only 61 miners on it and they have 7.75 gig hash. I'm like, cool. We'll go ahead and take a look at them. So I went ahead and got everything up and working on their page. It's very basic, very simple, but it's fine. For all intents and purposes, this will work out nicely. Uh, everything is up and mining within Hive OS, which worked out nice as well. So what I did was I went in and we edited our flight sheet just like we did previously. And only big change we made was the pool information, which is right here. So what I was able to do was go over to crimsonfusion.org, uh, which I found right from my pool stats. You just hit get connected and bam, they give you exactly what you need. And we're even using MB miner, so it worked out great. So I copied the stratum with the port and I just went ahead and pasted that within HiveOS and the password we did as an X. So now we're up and running. Now what do we do? Well. We hang back, we let our one GPU go ahead and mine us some Meowcoin. We build our bag and our wallet and we hope for the best. Now, let's talk about um, liquidation because it, as a spec coin, I am all for hodling them to see in the next bull run if any of them take off. 
if the project goes ahead and disappeared, okay, it's a shame, but it's not like we're spending a fortune mining it. So taking a look out there right now, you can see that it is down quite a bit as to where it was previously. But talking about liquidation, I did find that txbit.io, um, that it is available on there to go ahead and swap from Meowcoin to USDT. If you guys know of any other websites out there, please let me know if you can either swap it to something like Bitcoin or you can cash it out. Uh, I'd love to go ahead and get comments down below so that we can share that with the community. All right, guys, so that's gonna go ahead and wrap hey, things up for today's listen. video. I'd love to hear from you guys. Are you mining Meowcoin? Are you thinking about it? Are you staying away from it? Have you got a decent amount uh, in your bag before all the hype kind of came forward with it? I mean, it does have a decent amount of hash rate right now, over 400 giga hash currently out there. I mean, I know some people that mine this when there was like three pools and they were just boatloads of Meowcoin per day. Anyways, I'd love to leave your comments and feedback down below. I am going to continue our spec mining series. We're gonna do one video a week on a different coin. Uh, I have a few different ideas for next week's coin, but I'd love to hear from you guys. So if you guys wanna see me do a video on a different algorithm, on a different coin, please leave a comment down below and recommend it to me. Until next, guy, next time, guys, thank you guys very much for joining me. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Thank you.